Thank you for this wonderful performance. We enjoyed very much asking your concerts, and you made so many people happy. I think that's your mission in life. We are honored that you have come to the Music Academy. And it's my pleasure. And your audience make me happy. <laughs> program, I was listening to your recordings and searching for inspiration. Thanks. Do you have some... <laughs> <laughs> Do you have some musicians, whether it's pianist or any musician in general, whose recordings you prefer to listen? Absolutely. I do that pretty much all the time. It depends on the repertoire. Uh, every time I learn a new program or a new piece of music, after a certain period of time, after I have formed my own conception, I start listening to whatever recordings of the piece I can get hold of. 
uh, it depends on the repertoire. For instance, for Brahms' third sonata and first concerto, of all the recordings, I listened to my favorite were Julius Ketchum. For Schumann's Carnival, Mitsuko Uchido. For Schumann, uh, again, depending on the particular pieces. Oh, wow. uh, for Mazzocas, Arthur yeah. Morgenstein. Uh, for the Ballads, Stanislav Neuhaus. Beethoven. For the first third and fourth piano concerto of Mario Carrello, his video recording with uh, the Academy of St. Martin in the Field and Sir Neville Mallory, just to give a few examples. For Stradin's third sonata, Sanson Francois recording. It's nice to hear that you have also your idols <coughs> and somebody to uh, listen to. To which concert you, you, you would go? To, to which uh, pianist concert you would like to hear him now, this, this pianist? Is there anybody who you admire? Whenever I have an opportunity, I attend Martin Arbovich's concert as well as Grigory Sokolov's Margaret Carrales. So Christian Zimmermann. Rado Lutus. Richard Lutz. Yes. They are your friends, also you have a good contact with them? Some of them. Okay, thank you, Tamara.